Rob, welcome. Thanks, Last Mark. time we were together, we talked about our sustainability goals to reduce our carbon emission footprint by 60% by 2035. And we've had some real good momentum in the battery electric truck front here recently. So tell us why that's important on that path to sustainability. Absolutely. It's a critical part of our future there, Mark. We know the future's electric for us. And that's when we set that sustainability goal of 60% reduction in CO2 emissions per mile, we knew that a huge portion of our fleet by 2035 is going to be electric. Well, you got to get started. And the good news is we have an opportunity to get started. So we received a grant through a couple of organizations in the state of California. The South Coast Air Quality Management District is sponsoring a program yeah. along with the California Air Resource Board and the California Energy Commission to fund some battery electric vehicles. We received a grant that will bring us 50 battery electric vehicles into our intermodal operations starting next year in Southern California. Well, certainly the truck part of this is very exciting. It's very visible, it's fun, but I would tell you it's probably about 50% of the project. What else are you working on to make that a reality? Absolutely, you're right, Mark. Those Freightliner E-Cascadias are gonna do the work, but that's not the whole battery electric vehicle story. They have to be charged. And so that's where a lot of our lessons in sustainability are coming is really before the truck. It's how do I get that power to the truck? And so we're working today on what that plan looks like at our El Monte, California intermodal facility. So, give you a couple details. We've got four 1.2 megawatt power cabinets being installed at the El Monte facility. That's 4.8 megawatts of power that were required from Southern Cal Edison, our power company out there. So those four 1.2 megawatt power cabinets mm -hmm. each have four charging stations then, each with two power cables. So we'll have the capability of charging 32 trucks at a time at that location. Really important part of supporting electric vehicle fleet is having the charging infrastructure necessary. So we're learning a lot. We're really excited to get the construction going in El Monte.